Hello and welcome to the new video. In this video we'll take a look at how you can optimize your SCUM frame rate and we'll also take a look at how you can increase the FOV to be bigger than it is right now in the current release uh, for both third and first person and the effect is noticeable right away. First of all you need to navigate to a certain folder. I have it already open here but just in case you guys don't know how to reach that place you can just click on the address bar in any of the screens type in app data go one folder up you can do this with this button switch to local and just type scum to get it here saved config windows no editor now there are three files here that you need to take into account that is the engine.ini game user settings and scalability uh, let's take a look at engine file first. This, this stuff should be here uh, by default and I have added some stuff here to improve the game performance. Uh, I'm currently running GTX 980 with an AMD FX A350 so my usual FPS in the game with the settings I currently use is about from 30 to 50 FPS I don't have beast rig and I'm not optimizing from 120 to 140 this is really the low end is the really important stuff uh, so basically this information here for the script engine.engine .engine is related to uh, smoothing the frame rate we selected minimal desired frame rate is 60 and the higher well I have 144 Hertz monitor so I typed in 144 you can type in whatever you want uh, and plus there we we additionally modify some pixel shader complexity count and the time between purging kill objects basically objects that are no longer needed by the world by reducing this uh, ease up on CPU power and then there are some render settings uh, all of them are pretty much explanatory. All this code will be inside the description below, uh, either on a link to another website or as text. I still haven't decided that yet. But basically, yeah, uh, I pretty much just disable some most of the settings, lower the resolution for the shadows, uh, keeping things low, upscale quality should be zero, view distance can be zero, but I set it to one so I can at least see something in the distance. Shadow quality can of course be zero and uh, you could practically disable shadows here. I didn't test this but I don't want shadows disabled so I didn't go too far with this. And now here's an important part. By using the script engine.local player aspect ratio axis constraint equals aspect ratio maintain y fav, you can increase your FOV to match your uh, Field of vision based on the aspect ratio. This is dictated by the engine, and since the game currently does not have an FOV slider, this will come in handy. So, yeah, uh, this is basically it for this file. Now, let's switch to game user settings. I didn't really change much here, although you can also see that I matched uh, things like shadow max resolution, shadow quality to match the same information it was on the other page. So, yeah, uh, the game user settings will then further. Uh, I enabled to use dynamic resolution and uh, I'm not sure if this helped or not because I pretty much just bundled everything up and then use it as is uh, but if if this is true to what it should do it should alter between 1080 and 720 to provide as better FPS possible and I did notice a lot of Im FPS improvement but I did not notice any pixelation so I'm pretty sure my game is still running at 1080p uh, I also added a frame rate limit on the bottom of the screen to match 144, same as my uh, monitor refresh rate. And the third file here is scalability. Not a lot of files here, basically uh, lowering the quality of upscale, which doesn't really have any effects. It's up, we set upscale to be to 1, so basically there's no upscale. Uh, target pool to 200, it can be lower. I don't really know how to explain this one. I don't want to say something wrong. Uh, and yeah, basically lowering particle quality and anti-aliasing. Uh, so yeah, that is basically it. Now let's see how it looks in game. Uh, before we go to the game, I just want to add that one more thing was added and that is a launch option minus use all available cores. Uh, now please note, 
Unreal 4 has a specific list of launch parameters that they that the, that the engine uses. So those custom-made heap size or uh, I don't know, no man's sky. That doesn't work, guys. There's a list of commands that you can use with Unreal Engine 4. Anything else will not work. The engine does not take it in. You can type in big penis. Doesn't mean you're gonna get it. So yeah, use use only all available cores. This is uh, certified that it works. The documentation on Unreal Engine 4 confirms it and there's basically no need for using any custom made since they do not work. So yeah, let's get to the game. But yeah, we'll also cover uh, the settings here. If you go to options and video, I'm using custom, but pretty much everything is on low, full screen, low dynamic, sh medium post processing, medium effects, medium textures, and the resolution to 100, medium view distance. As you can see, most of these things here match the actual values in the settings. I would not recommend changing any of these while you have changed the files themselves. Now let's go to single player. Let's load this guy. Doesn't matter, just so we can get in game. Oh, okay. As you can see, my FOV is bigger. I can see my whole character. If I switch to first person, again, I can see much, much cl more clearly. So that's an improvement as is right off the bat. Everything pretty much else is the same as you can see. No issues with the UI. It works the same way. And there you go, my FPS like still is a bit low thanks to stuttering and everything, but that's because the game is still not optimized fully. But there I have around 50-ish FPS, which is a big improvement compared to what I had before, so yeah. I can put, I can confirm that this pretty much did the trick. And of course, feel free to add in the comments if the same thing uh, helped you as well, especially for the FOV, as the FOV is, was way too small for a PC game in first person. So yeah, with this, hopefully everything should be a little bit better. And there, we have a better hat now as well. And there are some nails. Well, let's drink this water to see how it will look in first person. Eh, looks fine. So yeah. Uh, basically this is it for this video. Thank you, thank you guys for checking it out. If you have any questions feel free to post a comment below and I'll see you next time. Peace!